Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord.js tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a translate command. So yeah, I'll pull up the module right now. So this is the module that we're going to use today. Um, it's um, the... Um, I'm not going to pronounce this because I'm probably going to pronounce it wrongly. So yeah, this is the npm package we're going to use. Um, the reason I'm using this is because uh, we don't need an API key for this. Uh, we can just install it and get translating um, right away. So yeah, um, just copy this, just click on it once and then it should copy to your clipboard. Alright, so when you're in VS Code, just open a terminal and just run, um, just paste it in your terminal npm i and then this is the package name all right and then just hit enter so i already installed it so i'm not going to reinstall it again so we're going to require the package in our translate command by doing cons translate equals require and then we're going to do um what am i even doing and and then um you should see the google translate option over here okay so in here you're going to translate okay and then um we can do const query equals args.join and then if there is no query we're just going to return message the reply please specify a text to translate so uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna um, make it so that every language it's gonna translate to English so if you pull up the docs right here you can actually see you can change um, the text to and from all right, if it's auto, it's going to take it from whatever. Um, it's going to detect the language and it's going to translate to English. So that is what I want. Um, you can see the documentation. I will link this website um, in the description. Okay, so you can check it out if you want. But if you want every single language to be translated to English, you can just uh, follow follow through. Just do const translate it. And we're going to just await translate. And then we're going to pass in the query in here, comma, to, and then en. En stands for English. And then um, we're just going to do message.channel.send. And then we can send the translated text. So translated. Make sure there's the d.text. Alright, that should be it. So let's just start the bot. And we can test this command out. all right so now we can test the command out so for this um i'm going to use chinese to translate okay let's just use some um common words like a uh, y translate bonjour which is hi or hello hello as you can see here and then i'm going to use some chinese okay you can do a uh, y translate um then i'm just going to translate something like ni hao ni hao Okay, and we'll say, um, hello there. Um, I will say something like, uh, why translate, uh, 你喜欢, uh, So this basically means, uh, what do you like to eat in Chinese? So let me just try this out. And then you say, uh, what do you like to eat? So yeah, this is the translate command. It's a really short video because it is really simple to use this. Um, if you face any errors, feel free to join the support level. Links will be in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, it really helps the channel out. Alright, that. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye!